hello everyone and welcome back to my channel um y'all i'm sorry my allergies are killing me my eyes are watering my nose is running i can't anyway so i'm going to get through this and be done but i'm a little bit i'm a little bit pissy because this is going to be going up um in june and these are three subscriptions from may that i just now got it's very irritating to me i i i had i have i have fought with myself i'm not gonna get them anymore yeah i still want to get them no i'm not gonna get them anymore yeah i still want to get them and um i skipped last month but i went ahead and got my boxy charm coming again but after I took a little peek inside and the fact that I didn't receive them till it was almost June has just about made me decide to cancel again. I, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm so up in the air about it. I, I just, I don't know. I can't decide. I feel, I feel like there's something missing if I don't get it. But then when I get it, at the end of the month and I don't get what I want in it, then I get pissy all over again. So anyway, um, without any further delay, if you wanna see what I got in my subscriptions this month, then just stick around cause that's coming right up. All right, imagine my surprise when I got this little bitty teeny tiny box from BoxyCharm. And my first thought was, there's not a palette in there. There's no way that there's a palette in there. And I kind of count on that. Um, maybe I shouldn't, but I do. And then my BoxyCharm Premium, they actually came on the same day. This box is huge, so I had high hopes for it, but Anyway, let's get into it. Um, my boxy charm. I'm gonna go ahead, like I like to do, and pull everything out, and then we'll talk about it. And I was not surprised when there was not a palette in here. I believe the palette that was available, or the palette that. Oh gosh, was it Violet? Mm, no, it wasn't Violet Boss. Anyway, I'll put up here what it was. But it was like called the Day and Night Palette or something. I can't remember what it was. Anyway, I was I didn't have my heart set on it, but I do kind of like getting a palette in my boxy charm. Come some of my favorite palettes are palettes that I have gotten in my boxy charm. So when I didn't get it, I was a little disappointed. So, let's start off with the first thing that I got, and it's the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. It says an instant eye lift in a tube. Sheer liquid brighteners let your skin come through to deliver a natural Lit from within, youthful glow, Diamond Complex delivers a soft focus finish, includes removable sponge for on-the-go blending, and the MSRP on this is $27. Um, let me go ahead and open it up. Um, I did see Kelly Strack, I think, open this product. And she's a big shape tape fan. So she did, she does like this product. And I really, um, I don't really know anything about it. And I certainly will have to use it. But I do have mine in the shade A Light. But it has the little, the little doe foot on one side. Oh feels kind of thick actually but it has a doe foot on one side and then it has the sponge 
um, on the other side that I guess you can you can blend blend with it so it, it does look very brightening just from what I can tell so I'll be anxious to try that um then the next product I have is from Hey Honey. It's the Come Clean Propolis and Minerals Facial Scrub. Love a scrub. I'm an exfoliator, so I really like that. A rich exfoliating Dead Sea Salt Scrub designed to be gentle enough for even the most sensitive skin. Dead Sea Crystalline Beads buff away dead skin cells rehydrate the skin and restore depleted minerals the result clearer smoother and brighter skin and the msrp on this is 29 dollars so let's see i'm gonna take the little thing off i'm just anxious to see if this has any kind of a smell to it well i'm gonna put some out of my hand just a little bit it's very thick but oh yeah it has a um, just a slight but there's the little scrubbing beads it does have a slight just a very slight smell to it very nice and it seems like I have one other product from Hey Honey, but I haven't really used a lot. Um, the next product I have that I'm very excited about is from First Day Beauty, and it's the Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Um, formulated with coconut water and other superfood ingredients, this complexion enhancing moisturizer instantly brightens hydrates and smooths while helping the appearance of pores the result is a beautiful healthy looking skin when worn alone and long-lasting makeup when used as a prep step so i'm very excited about that i love a hydrating moisturizer love it um the next thing i have and there i, I I'm kind of on the fence about this particular brand. It's Tristique. I absolutely love their lip products. I have gotten a mascara from them that I did not like at all. Um, their, their packaging can be a little bit gimmicky, but I just recently received a... Um, a contour stick from them that I absolutely love and it has the the contour on one side and then you pull this off and it has a little brush which I do not like the little brush um, with it but this is a refillable brow pencil and brow gel all right so you have the brow pencil here and then oh, you unscrew it and then you have the brow gel and this is a very very uh, interesting wand on this it's got short short bristles and then long bristles and it does it is um, a tinted brow gel and it says it's in the color espresso which y'all can still my even though my hair has been lightened you can tell how dark my brows are but anyway this a super sleek two-in-one brow pencil is a hundred percent refillable keep your forever case and refill your brow pencil and gel to your heart's content from the materials to the packaging everything was developed through a lens of sustainability Better for you and the planet. The brow pencil features a triangular shaped tip to define, I don't know if you can see that, to define brows while the flexible tinted gel 
on the other side grooms and sets and the MSRP on this is $26 and the MSRP on the Hello Fab was $30 and then the last product is from Sophia and Mabel. It's a hydrating hybrid. This hydrating hybrid is a lipstick and lip balm in one. And here's the packaging on this. So it looks like a bullet lipstick. Um, a lipstick and lip balm in one. It's packed with vitamin E to help keep those lips silky smooth but with the full coverage of a satin finish lipstick. Bring this baby with you anywhere you go and apply when you need a little extra moisture and a subtle pop of color. And it's a very subtle pop of color, but nice nude, nice nude, nude color. So let me add this up real quick and see what we have. Twenty seven for the shape tape, twenty nine for the hay honey, thirty for shoot, twenty seven, twenty nine, thirty for the first aid beauty, twenty eight for the tristique, and then fifteen for the Sophia and Mabel for a hundred and twenty nine dollars. So, $129 for $25, not bad. But, again, I'm a little bit disappointed that I did not get that palette. Um, and I hate to say that I'm disappointed because I did get some great products. And I did get $130 worth of products for $25. So, I, I hate to complain but sometimes when you get used to something and then they switch it up on you, it's disappointing. Anyway, moving on to the premium box. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and pull everything out of it. And there's no palette in here either. This is a first. This is an absolute first. Hi, sissy. Hi, sissy. Mama's busy. Mama's busy. All right, let me get my card. Um, and I forgot to tell you when I opened the other one that the theme this month is flourish. So, the... Palette that was supposed to be in the premium box was from House Labs, and um, I was rather excited about that, but I didn't get it either. So, the first thing I have is from Bloom Effects, and it is a Royal Tulip Nectar. This healing ointment. This healing ointment to serum hydrator smooths, nourishes, and helps repair the skin's barrier. Powered by a proprietary Dutch tulip complexion com complex and a bouquet of earth source botanicals applied everywhere to where your skin needs extra love. Try it with a moisturizing sleep. Try it as a moisturizing sleep mask. All right. Very, very pretty packaging. It reminds me of the Tatcha packaging just a little bit. Um, let's see what it looks like. I don't smell anything, but it... Oh, Lord, I just spilled it everywhere. Good grief. Well, clearly, it has some liquid in it. So, I won't be doing that again. I guess I thought it was more of a... Well, it is. It's kind of a thick jelly consistency, but then it has liquid in it. 
live and learn. I don't know if y'all can see. I mean, it, it definitely, definitely feels like a serum. And it's, well, it says ointment to serum hydrator. Oh, it feels wonderful. Oh, man, that feels great. Of course, I hate that I got it all, got it all over this, but. And anyway, um, and oh my goodness, the MSRP on this is $65. Hmm. The next thing I have is a Too Faced, has liquid all over it, a Too Faced Melted Chocolate Eyeshadow. This innovative two-in-one whipped liquid eyeshadow formula delivers rich, intense, chocolate-scented matte color in a skin-centric cocoa tone that can be worn alone for an airbrush finish or as a pigmented primer that locks down for 24 hours of crease-proof, waterproof wear. And this is, let's see. This is in the shade Tiramisumi. Tiramisumi. And I'm going to have to put it on the other hand because I've got that stuff all over. Oh, it's very pretty. It's, it's kind of a... Um, Kind of a brown with a hint of purple, kind of like a plummy brown or a brownish plum, whichever way you want to look at it. But that's beautiful. I really like that. And the MSRP on that is $21. Then the next thing I have is from Bite Beauty. It's the Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon. A clean, high-performance matte lipstick for creamy, bold color that can keep up with you. And the MSRP on this is $26. And if y'all know me, I'm never going to pay $26 for a lipstick. I'm just, I'm not going to do it. Oh, Lord. Uh, and I'm never going to use this color. It is, the shade name is, Damson, Damson, but that, that, yeah, that's not for me. So, I'll be passing, passing that along or, anyway, not fond of that at all. All right, then the next thing I have is from a company called Serum Kind, and it is the Black Blossom Hand Serum, which I've never heard of a hand serum. A hand serum perfect for the intensive care of the skin barrier infused with the healing effects of Black Blossom Serum. I have never heard of a hand serum. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I said I was going to pop it open, but it doesn't want to pop open. Oh my God. It will not open. Hold on. Got it. Finally. Alright, it looks like a cream. Oh, but it does. It does. It it rubs down to a um I don't know. I don't know how to describe that texture, but it's very, very nice. I love stuff on my hands anyway. I do I I rub lotion and creams and stuff on my hands several times a day. But y'all, this has dried down and it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, and the MSRP on this is $27. All right, the next 
thing that I have, which I've ruined the envelope, is from LaRousse Beauty, and it's an on-the-go. I do, I have some brushes from this brand. Um, it's an on-the-go set. Get ready to cover all the basics with this set. The three-piece set comes with a dense domed brush for foundation. I think I already have this brush. Um, matter of fact, I do. I do already have this brush. Um, okay. Get ready to cover all the bases with this three-piece set. It comes with a dense domed brush for foundation or contour, a powder brush for highlighter, and I think I have this one too. Well, no, that's not the same. It's not quite the same. And then a blah, 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 small angled brush for eyeliner or eyebrows right here. <laughs> and the MSRP on this is $96. No. Never. Never. Never, never, never. Okay. And then the last thing I have is from... It's R-A-E-L Beauty and it's Vitamin C Facial Sheet Masks. A radiance enhancing face mask that visibly brightens and revitalizes the look of your skin. Crafted from the softest, silkiest bamboo yarn and soaked in skin brightening serum, this it's designed to bring out your skin's natural luminous glow. Um, and it's $15 and there are five sheet masks in here. So let me add this up and see what we have for $35. 65, 21, 26, 27, 96, plus 15, it's $250. So that's $250 worth of products for $35. Which, with that being said, um, I don't know anybody in their right mind that would pay $96. they are very, very soft. And I have enjoyed the other set that I have. But y'all, come on. $96. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so there's my BoxyCharm. Um, I got some really good stuff. I can't say that I didn't. But I am a little disappointed that I did not get a palette in either in either box. That's that's never happened to me before. Anyway, I have one more box, which is got junk all over it now. But this is the box by Fashionista, and this is only the second time that I have received this box. Um, but I really liked it last month, so I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out. And there are six full-size products in this box. And we have a little card, and the card says, Going Within to Nourish, Flourish, Inner Beauty. And the first product I have is from Catherine Natural Cosmetics, and it's the Catherine Kindness Eyeshadow Palette. And the retail price on this is $28.00. It says, where spreading kindness can happen in the blink of an eye, being kind is a lifestyle, and we think this eyeshadow palette is the best addition to your kind spirit. It is vegan and cruelty-free, and it looks to have three, well, two mattes. These two look like mattes. This looks like it has a little little bit of a well 
it looks matte, but it almost looked like it had a little bit of a shimmer to it. And then it looks like a pressed glitter. Yes, pressed glitter and two shimmer shades, these right here. So, very pretty. It, 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 it reminds me a little bit of the uh, Menage a Moi from uh, ColourPop that I already have. So, I may pass this one, may pass this one along. All right, um, I have two products here from the same brand, which is Earth Harbor. I have something called Laguna Replenishing Body Serum. Promote, and this is uh, retails for $26, promotes feelings of skin, respiration, and intercellular energy while deriving, no, delivering deep nourishment, hydration, and a gorgeous luster to your sweet skin. That packaging is really, really pretty. Let's see how that feels. And y'all, I wanted to show you that this dries down. This is that, um, this is that, um, Too Faced, um, chocolate eyeshadow. It doesn't go anywhere. Nowhere. All right, let's see what this feels like. Feels very, very nice very hydrating. I've already got so much stuff on this hand, it's really hard to tell. But the other, that was Laguna, and now the other product that I have is Aurora, and it is a superfood luminance ampule for $32, the most divine way to serenely energize and soothe skin while inducing dewy, illuminating Luminance, I'm sorry, uh, giving your skin illuminating superfood nutrition. So, Laguna and Aurora. They look like, I mean, the packaging is very impressive. They look like really nice products. Um, the next thing I have is from Gypsy Soul, and it is the... Cactus Flower Face Toner. A refreshing, and, oh, I love it when they're in the spray. Um, a refreshing and hydrating formula that purifies, detoxifies, and tones your skin. 100% organic and can be used all, can be used over makeup to keep the skin hydrated. Let's see if this has any, any smell to it. Uh, ooh. Oh, that smells very, very clean. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, then the next thing I have, oh, and the, did I say that was $30? The next thing I have is from Nur Nurture from Nature. It's 20 ounces of sugar wax. The perfect hair removal solution for sensitive skin and all hair types with salon results. No heat strips needed. Three natural ingredients, pure cane sugar, distilled water, and lemon juice. Well, how the heck do you... How the heck do you get it off then? How do you remove the hair? There's no instructions. Yeah, there's no instructions. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand how you use it. I mean, it is a, it's, it's definitely, ooh, uh, definitely a very, very sticky wax, but I, I don't, mm, I'll have to look this up because I don't have any idea how you use that. Um, and I have not waxed in a very long time ever since I've been dermaplaning. I don't wax anything. So, I may pass that on. Um, and the retail value on that's $10. And then the last thing that I have is from a company called Ola Neon. And it is a lipstick balm, which sounds very 
very much like the other product that I got. Moisturizing with a hint of shine, a tinted balm to smooth and shape for the ultimate pout. And it also has like the clear type packaging. Coconut infused, formulated for everyone at any age and any skin tone. Vegan and cruelty free. And this is a little more of a kind of a red, a red color. So this this box was $24.99. And let me go ahead and add up the products in this and see what we have here. We had 28. 26, 30, 17, 10, 10, and 32 for a total of $143 for $25. So, um, I think this, I, <laughs> I think this helped me make up my mind. Y'all, that doesn't want to come off. Um, I think this helped me make up my mind. Um, while I while I did get some really nice products in these three boxes, I would have rather had that $85 back to spend on exactly what I want. Um... um I don't have any complaints about any specific product. I got two lip products. I got some nice skincare. Now, I'm always excited when I get skincare because skincare does tend to be expensive. And I'm very excited about the hydrating primer. Um, excited about the skincare. Um... Yeah, I think I'm done. I think I'm done with subscriptions. So, anyway. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. So, again, thank you, as always, for joining me. I'm sorry that this came to you so late in the month or into the next month, but that's just how it's been going. So anyway, have a blessed and beautiful rest of your day. Thank you for supporting my channel and see you next time.